Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode we finished off, um, well, we beat the Hungry Lumas levels. We didn't beat them, we fed them and then beat the levels that they led to. There you go. And we beat the final boss. Now obviously it wasn't final enough because we're back in the, you know, back in the seat of things. And today we're tackling probably just some of the, uh, Purple Comet Stars, and we're gonna see exactly what uh what that means for us. First things first, though, we gotta actually go to the first one, which would only make sense if it was in Good a Galaxy. I'm not sure if this is always going to be the case, um, but you know it is today, so it's all that matters to me. Now, each one of these levels, um, unlike like the other levels we've seen before, the rules of it are a little bit different depending on the level you play you know it's not like a speedy um a speedy foe or fast foe or you know uh, speed run where basically they're all the same all of these also all of these differ in a certain way or another so it it'll be interesting new content not just the same old bland stuff that uh you know we've been used to overall though good at galaxy does a pretty good way at you know making it so it's still a little boring for us because honestly we're just sat here going through and getting coins it's not really much other than that but overall a pretty easy level now it, it at this point in time it's pretty unlikely that I'll die um, but it's not impossible this one's not time but that's you know not counting the fact that others might be and are so yeah, I probably won't go over 65, but now that I say that, I probably will, so we'll see. I mean, we'll see. I don't know. It, it's really up to fate and whatever fate wants to, wants to happen to me, I guess. And that's alright with me. And just like that, we're kind of done, because the rest are just in this warp star pattern right here, so... Yeah, we're already done. Not a very, they're not very difficult stars, like whatsoever. Uh, a lot of these are super easy and quick. So, oh no, it's good. All right. All right, let's save the game. And unlike other Comet Stars, um, where they just appear in the next level immediately after it, these don't. So what we have to do is we actually have to go to the uh, the big map that's in the center of the observatory and find exactly where the next one is. Because a lot of the time, it's not going to be in the same dome. In our case, it's in every other dome. Wow. All right. Uh, so... You know what? Let's... I Actually, let's go all the way to the top. Some of the, the harder ones are all the way up there, so... Might as well get some of those out of the way. Weird that all of them are... All of them have one now. You probably have to do Good Egg Galaxy first. It, it, I feel like that's pretty safe to say. If not, then... I'll just accept that I'm wrong, but if so, I'll accept that I'm right. I, I, I don't really have much stakes in whatever battle we're having here. Ah, yes, the Dreadnought Galaxy. Possibly the hardest or second hardest purple star in purple coin in the game. So, unlike the one that was in um, Good Egg Galaxy, this one takes place on the auto movement section. What, what are they called again? I don't even remember. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. This section where you stand on a platform and have to move. Now, is this an issue? No. But there is difficulty to this. Because you can't miss a single coin. There are only 100 coins in this level. Some levels have more than that. Some have... Well, 100. Exactly. They can't really have less than 100 because 100 is always the name of the game. Either way, they always have at least 100. In this case, this one has exactly 100. Now, as long as you don't miss a coin, it shouldn't be a problem. If you miss a coin at all, 
this is a problem because then you have to restart the game actually tells you uh, how many coins you should be at by a certain point in the level so you know just try to make sure you're getting all of them if you don't just die and restart because you know you need all of them anyways and that's really that Hence, this. So I lost. So I have to die and restart. You don't understand how much that makes my blood boil. Because I couldn't get on the fucking thwomp. <laughs> I'm actually bad. <laughs> I hate being bad. Oh, I hate it. Either way, this level sucks ass. And that's it. I, it really does... Oh, in, in the grand scheme of things. This is probably, you know, not probably not the hardest, but one of the hardest. A lot of people think this is the hardest. Um, I don't. Normally, I don't have an issue with it. For some reason, though, the Thwomp decided to give me an issue with it. And thus, I cry. No! Oh, my God. This is going to be a long day. This is going to be a long day. <sighs> and unlike a lot of other, you know, automated movement sections, you have 3D movement. I, 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 I don't know, man. I don't know. 3D movement? Terrible. A terrible. Because you have to... It's on a certain line. And if you move from that line, you lose. Whatever. I. This, this is it. This, like, I only have to do it once. And then I'm done forever. Because I don't have to do this again. I never have to play this game again. Think about it. Crazy. Will I? Probably. At like some point in the future. Alright, Thwomp. Give me my blue coin the purple coins I so dearly earned. Damn. Couldn't get him. I really couldn't get him before. Because he decided to be an ass. How sad. I hate this. I hate this. I hate the 3D portion of it because it makes me always wonder if I'm actually on the line of blue coins or not. That's real life. I always worry about that. Also, if you get hit, probably also good to say that you're probably dead as well. So, you have to restart. It just sucks. Either way, there really isn't too much to this level other than that. Make sure you get these blue purple coins over here. There should be 99 by the time you're done. If there are more than that, I don't know how you did it. If there's less than that, you have to restart. Because the last one is right there. Just uh, keep that in mind. And if you don't have enough, he'll tell you. Obviously, uh, you can't move from the spot. But uh, you also can't die. I I'm not sure if it automatically restarts you or not, but you can't die there. So you might just have to quit the level and come back, or it auto-kills you. Either way, just keep in mind that you need 99 before taking that warp star. And just like that, that is that level completed. Dreadnought is 100% completed. Maybe another level in here is open up? Nope. Should have guessed. But with that out of the way, how about we take on the other hardest one that I always struggle with? Try to get some of these deaths out of the way, you know? Make sure they're all bundled into one episode that I have to edit. More fun that way. And that, my good fellers, uh, doesn't work because obviously... They all disappear. <laughs> Why did they all disappear? It's whatever. Let's go back to the Terrence and do the other level. It's just weird that they all disappeared. I had seven of them I could do, and it decided I could not. Either way, I guess, you know, I mean, I've been saying either way a lot. I guess I can complete the Terrence fully and never have to come back. 
I mean, I'm down for it. The Honey Hive's Purple Coins. So overall, another pretty easy one to just go around and collect coins. Nothing crazy. So we're just gonna go around and collect coins. Now this one's a little annoying to do, just because unlike the Good Egg Galaxy, they're not in a straight line. They're kind of sprung all over the place. And this just kind of sucks because... Well, I mean, you have to find them all. God knows, you might miss one. Trust me, I've, there have been plenty of times where I've just missed one coin. God knows where. But it's happened. So just, I don't know, make sure you uh, get all the coins. I don't really have much other to say other than that. I mean, when it comes to this, it's it's not really all that difficult. For us, though, we gotta make sure we get them all, so... I mean, it's every single one. I think this one is the, the thing over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. I might be dead. Oh, no. Okay, good. Sometimes you spin there and you just die. Because for some reason, it doesn't want to um, let you grab the rope anymore or the vine or whatever. And you just plummet to your death. It's happened to me plenty of times. It's, it's a sad sight every time it does happen. Do, 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 do. Yeah, these really these things really are just all over the place. They 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 surprise me sometimes with where they are. I don't know. If you're watching me for a little guide, um, I, good job, I guess. I, I don't I don't tell you. But make sure to come over here. Now this, you do actually have to break because there's blue coins in the corner. Yes, you could do the whole jump and skip around like I like doing so much, but that isn't actually helpful. To, I don't care, Guildboard. Guildboard, get away from me. I don't care. I know how to wall jump. We are literally in like the last two to three episodes of the game right now. Either way. Um, yeah, just make sure you break that. There is coins here in the corners, and just like the Dreadnought, there is only 100 coins in this level, so you have to collect them all. That I know of. I'm pretty sure that there's only 100. I w if there's 101 coin in this level, I, I would have no idea where it would even be. But, I, you know, we're just gonna assume there's not. Easier for me if I, I just assume that there's not 101 coins. It makes me feel better. So... Yeah, we're already halfway there. Look at that. Look at that. We are already halfway there. Do 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 do. It is a little weird to me though that this, of how this level's laid out. I don't know. It's just awkward. <laughs> I don't really like it. It's just me. It's not my least favorite level, that's gonna be the sea slide level, or the big old loop-de-loop. -loop. Yeah, that one sucks. No, I gotta... Of course. Just, I just, I don't wanna have to go back down, just go, please, just get the coin for me. Thank you, okay, okay. That would've been terrible. We'll take this pipe to somewhere in a minute, just give me a minute. It does go somewhere, so keep that in mind. Also, from what I know, there's no power-ups in this in these levels either. Which, and now that I'm thinking about it, is a little weird. I, I guess I never really thought about it. I don't know. Just no B. No red star. Nothing. I, I don't know, man. There's nothing. What do you expect me to say? Alright. So we actually have to head back this away Because there's three little coins that I missed. Actually, six coins I missed. Because I forgot these existed on, on the, the thing here. Which are just scary. They're just terrifying. 
The three I was referring to, though, was the three that's on this little hill. Little kitty ramp there. That I'm sure if I tried, I could climb. I, I guess I never really thought about it, but I could totally climb that. Huh. Mario, I... Get down, Mario. I don't want to climb the vine. Thank you. Thank you, Mario. I didn't want to climb the vine in the first place, so I'm happy that you decided it was a good idea to get off the vine. I actually do need to go back up there. So, maybe I will climb that vine. And maybe, maybe I can get up here and make this jump anyways, and I don't have to even worry about it. Ooh, I can make that jump. I can make that jump. I can make that jump easy. May I can definitely make this jump. Normally, you have to go all the way around. And I do not feel like doing that. Yes! <laughs> Cheat the system, baby. I cheated that system. Oh, yeah. That's what Daddy likes to see. Now, that wasn't a very hard to, to jump. And, yeah, honestly, one of the things you need to do for yourself is to make this easy. These can be sometimes very long and annoying to deal with. Don't stress about, you know, going the long way. Try to take the shorter way. It's it's much faster and fun that way. And just like that, we have collected every single purple coin in the level. Wonderful. Now I just have to not die. Luckily, it's not very hard. But then again, I am me, so... You know, you have to take it with a grain of salt. Have to. And with the Terrence completed and... The Dreadnought completed, I'd actually like to end the episode now. Um, I'd like to spend next episode trying to get, you know, more of them. But, uh... Yeah, overall, I think there's a good time. You know, not too long, and uh, really, we're just running through these levels at this point. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time with more Super Mario Galaxy. Peace.